Hello, Katie, and welcome to your Minecraft Christmas present. Uh, it's a bit ostentatious, but ostentatious is my middle name. My second middle name. Peter Danger Ostentatious Shares. Anyway, let's, uh, take a look at what we have. This is your lobby. As you can see, it's got a, uh, a ticket counter. Some concession stands, one on each side, because you need that. And entrances to both the uh, main pleb seating of the theater and the, the fancy people seating as well. So let's go on up here and take a look at the fancy people seating. Nice leather couches made out of stairs. That's my secret. I make couches out of stairs. Anyway, nice sparkly drinks for the fancy people. And a dispenser full of steaks because who doesn't like steak, really? Uh, aside from vegetarians, but you know, steak is awesome. Anyhow, all right. So if we go down here, we've got the main stage. Uh, you can see the curtain is up right now. I'll show you how to take that down in a moment. But, uh, or rather to, well, turn the curtain off. It's made out of water. So I'll show you that in a bit. As you can see, these stairs are lit by uh, lava flows, and here's a cool thing. You can turn those off, or you can cover them up. If you hit the switch on each side, uh, bricks come out and dampen the, uh, lava flow. So we make the theater a little bit darker than it would ordinarily be, which is how you want it, of course. Down here we've got the orchestra pit. Some stairs lead down to the corridors beneath, we'll get to that in a second. But for now, let's take a look at the stage. Uh, here's the stage. The, uh, we've got your traps, as you requested. There's some spotlights up above that you can mess with. Let me go into that. The spotlights uh, don't work quite as well as I would like, just because well, they're too far from the stage, and, and the lighting effects don't work as well that far from the stage. Anyway. I need to put that track over somewhere else. Okay. But, as you can see, we've got a lighting system that moves blocks in and out of the way of the uh, spotlights up above. And what we also have up here, if I can find it, is the switch that brings the curtain down. So that's how the play would open, with the, the water curtain dropping off. We've uh, got some cool little side rooms. This is the costume shop over here. We've got various, you know, heads people can put on. They're a little small, but whatever. Just a, uh, a chest full of supplies and different colors of costumes. Can't make much other than armor, but I went ahead and dyed some for you. And then, uh, if you go across to the other side of the stage, let's, uh, go down in the corridors here. There are tunnels beneath the stage, as there would be. Oh, this, this prop shop is a mess. I think Luke was in charge of it. Let's blame him. Cobwebs everywhere. Oh my god. Just all this clutter. Luke's fault. So I got stuck in the little cobwebs. Anyway, here's the, uh, kind of the shop for making props. Here's the saw. Uh, it looks weird because it's new technology, I swear. Cutting edge, even. Terrible joke. Anyway. Crafting tables. Uh, chest full of just supplies that you'd use to make uh, sets. Glass, bricks, stairs, doors. That sort of thing. 
This was meant to be a drill press, but clearly since everything is made out of squares, it's really more of a crushing things flat machine, but it works. And here is really the most complicated thing in the theater that I built. This is the Scenery change o 5000. I've got a couple different scenes set. I've got uh, forest at night, forest during the day, as you can see on the other side. Uh, kind of a wood and glass kind of building uh, backdrop. And also a castle one as well. You can see it coming up from the bottom. Let's, uh, let's stop it when it gets to the night one. There's actually a piston loop that just kind of pushes each scene into place. And you, you stop it by, uh, the circuit goes in a loop, and it just provides power each time it goes around. So we'll stop it once we get to the night forest scene, which is right about here. As you can see, I've got my little trees growing up there. It's actually perfect for the scene that we're doing right now. Uh, which is a balcony scene. And, you know, it could be Romeo and Juliet. I personally prefer uh, Serrano de Bergerac, so let's say we're, they're, they're playing that one. Alright, uh, as far as the lighting goes, again, I, I tried to, you know, there's a, you can see one of the spotlights open up above, but those don't light that far down. But you'll notice that the ground is still glowing. That's because of these things, these lamps, I put in, they're kind of the next best thing, and you've got switches below them that you can turn them on and off with. Uh, I've got a couple more rooms to show you. If we go up here, I've got a little museum dedicated to, you know, some guy who wrote plays. Something's going on here. That dude in the center looks kind of the worst for wear, I think. But not quite as bad yet as this guy. Uh, we've got the, the three caskets. Still smells sweet, I think. Oh man. I'm tired of snow. It makes me so, uh, yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it'll come to me later. You smell that? Something smells. Ew. Gross. Anyway. We have a nice, lovely summer day scene out here. This is not actually a dagger, but you're close. And some wild geese do not chase them. And the, uh, all the world sign labels the ladder, which of course goes back to the stage. Uh, okay, let's see. We've seen a fairly good bit of this. Speaking of Shakespeare, I actually, uh, did something else. There's a room in here that uh, has been bricked up because, you know, it's it's for people's own good, really. You don't want to get them ideas, but I can let you in here since this is your present. Let's dig these guys up, see what we got. Just a wrapped somebody with an empty bottle and Wrapped somebody who appears to have gotten knife. Mm. The sign seems to suggest that they deserve what they got, though. Alright. Now up here. This is the green room, as you may have suspected. It's very green. It's got some vending machines in it. I made it out of emerald. So, uh, yeah. Green room. Quite green. 
That's really all there is to say about that. Uh, and I, I think that's about it for the theater. This took me a really long time because I kept adding stuff and adding stuff. Uh, so uh, I hope you like it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to show you, but I think that will about do it. You know, we covered the orchestra pit. There's actually a way to get out of the building from the orchestra pit, which is nice because, well, you don't want to haul your bass drums and nonsense through the main lobby. Oh, yeah, there is one thing I wanted to do. I mean, the theater's pretty useless without people in it, so let's uh, populate this thing. There's a dude. There's a dude. There's a dude. There's a dude. There's a dude who's dressed in purple. There's a dude who's running the concession stand. He might escape. They do that. They, uh, they're not... They're kind of capricious, these people. Just ridiculous. And they look like Squidward. So, I, I don't know if I'd want a pla an entire planet populated with Squidward clones, but whatever. Let's put some in the, in the stand, too, so they can watch whatever play we've got going on here. I said Serrano de Bergerac, so let's, let's uh, make sure these people know about the good theater that they're... Let's, let's make sure somebody's here to watch it. Let's put a fancy guy up here. I can't control how fancy he is. The game kind of decides that one. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The play is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, well, mostly gentlemen, I can't really tell. You all kind of look the same to me. I'm sorry if that offends you. But it's offending me that you're not getting in your seats. So, I think we're even. Okay, they're not listening to me at all. I don't think they speak my language or something. So, anyway, uh, that's your theater. I hope you like it, and... Uh, I will see you guys next time for Dad's Elevator, which is also going to take a very, very long time. See you later.